Oh uh, hey everybody, it's me. I subscribe to iSoro Productions and hit that like button now or else I'll leave you and never come back. Just like your father. I mean, you guys kept joking about it, but think about it. 400k subscribers and I play cool math games, aka Victoria Free. Honestly, basically the same thing. You know, there's still so many different countries we can play in Victoria 2, but one that I think we should get out of the way pretty soon is, um... Afghanistan. Oh, you know, Prussia. I, I mean... I personally would have been fine with Afghanistan, but I know the demand is just not quite there for me to play Afghanistan just yet, is it? Unlike cool math games, which is still haunting me to this day. Things are going well in Prussia. Can you tell? Oh, you know what they say when you need to take over the entire world, it's time to tax the poor. I've got a big question here. Why exactly is America trying to take away my German sphere? What the hell, dude? Alexa, this is so sad. Can we throw 500 hamburgers into the sea? Hey, there's millions of people saved and two world wars out the window. <sighs> now the goddamn Turkish. They're trying to steal my goddamn sphere. You know, Britain, I feel like you didn't need my help in this war, but I'm just going to be the kind soul that I am and help you take down the Indians. No idea how I'm going to get there, though. Yeah, I really can't be bothered dealing with all the uh, sphering, so I'm just going to go ahead and take Austria out right now on my own and not have to deal with it. Um, people say Prussia is nothing but a militaristic state looking to take over the world. Jeez. Now, how do we harvest this power and kill the Austrians? Oh, hey, welcome to Victoria 2. Here's your complimentary fist in the anus. The one place I could actually see anarcho-liberal spawning is probably Krakow to BH. It's basically Battle Royale down there, I imagine. Ah, oh, look. More land where Jacobin rebels can rise up and constantly try to kill me. Technically, it's not an illegal war if the country you're at war with doesn't even exist. I wasn't even going to do any, like, colonizing this game, but just the idea of Danish Madras is really putting me off that idea. Oh, look, I can form the North German Confederation. It's not going to fix any of my problems, though. My favorite German tradition, beating up the Austrians. Later on, we switch that with the French. Just the usual peace conference, admit hegemony, Dutch Samaritan with Dutch West Java, Dutch East Java, the Banat Republic. What? Banat! Oh, damn. I uh, kind of went over my infamy limit with that war just a little bit. Hold on, we're going to have to release someone. There you go. We'll just go ahead and release the Faroe Island. See you around. Where the hell do you get off on just existing? So Poland's currently in a war to try and break free from Russia and their first thought of business is to, um, it's to revolt. Yeah, uh, they're in their own little revolt right now. It's a revolt in a revolt. I don't think that's going to stop the Russian army though. Speaking of revolts, I have countless of them. At this point, I've killed literally hundreds of thousands of my own people and they, they just don't seem to be getting the picture. Tell you what though, why don't we just quickly go ahead and take Alsace-Lorraine and we'll see how the rebels feel after that. Surely they won't still be angry. I'm sorry, Mr. Tukula Empire, but you honestly have no right to exist in your current form. Ah, this is so so much fun! Why do you hate me so much? Because of the countless Jacobin rise-ups, I now have four liberal parties, although technically one of them are anarcho-liberals. Um, I feel like we don't need this many. That's some good news, look. We found an Egyptian tomb. That's a nice bit of history there. Also, yeah, constant state of revolt still. Well, might as well go form Germany. Not that that's really gonna help with, you know anything. I'm sorry, we're currently focusing on stabilizing the Balkans when we can't even stabilize our own goddamn country. Could be worse though. Could be these borders down here in Central Asia. Oh, what caused this giant war between you and Russia, you might ask? Well, guess what, guys? The Dutch tried to declare war on Akir, which was in my sphere of influence, so we've decided to settle the small colonial issue by killing hundreds of thousands of soldiers. Yeah, I stole Cuba. And then I realized I'm never going to use it. <sighs> Put me out of my misery. I, I don't even know how you managed to form in the first place, Italy, if you don't have Tuscany. Um, I don't think I even want to help you here. Now, you might think this looks bad, but it could be a lot worse. Never mind. It's pretty bad. Yeah, that's what we needed. More militant socialists. Well, there you go. The king's dead. And now we are a republic with a socialist government. Yay. Also, yeah, Italy lost their war to Tuscany, so, um, it's just looking real good down here, isn't it? So, the socialists got voted out of government in the democracy they set up, and then they immediately rised up when they got voted out. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be an endless loop? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God! And uh, Luxembourg just invented communism, so... 
I guess eventually we're gonna probably end up communist too. Completely forgot I even took Iceland from Denmark, so yeah, sure, you can be free. How'd uh, you look at that? We're socialists again. How long before they get voted out by the liberals and then they just rise back up? I currently have the modifier on national confusion and yeah. You're not the only one. Now, how long before we get taken out by the socialists again? So this boat here left the Republic of Germany to go take Africa, and the time it took them to get to their destination, I turned communist. Yeah, also when I turned communist, uh, I got a decision. Just gonna ignore that one. Oh my god. It's never gonna end! Early, uh, I know you got some of your land back, but I think you're missing a bit. You know what? You're right, viewer. I haven't been to war with Austria in a good while. Perfection. I haven't really had the time to go over and take some land off of China because of the whole revolts happening, but uh, I'm finally getting around to it now. You can all, you know, calm down. I'm gonna do it, you know. I I'm doing it right now. Go stop being in my face about it. Oh, oh, Russia. Russia just invented the Great War and uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, Germany doesn't do too well in those. Oh, Illy went communist too. That's pretty cool. It's my only a communist. Ah, oh, never mind. They're, they get, they've already got revolts to go back to socialism. So I'm probably not going to leave all these wars in, but uh, all the time, France just keeps declaring war on me because they have a never-ending core on alsace Lorraine, and uh, every time, I absolutely stomp them. I just got a free Casa's belly to install communism in Krakow. I think you need to calm down there, Krakow. I'm just trying to install a communist government in you. I was kind of hoping Russia would have joined this war to save Krakow since they're in their sphere, but they never did, therefore we, we never get that world war I've been waiting for for so long. Well, Krakow's communist now, and I guess I'll have to get my world war another way. Oh, there you go. That'll do it. I should declare war on Russia. <laughs> so, uh, the Great War's here. It's, uh, it's me and America versus Britain and Russia. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. Faroe Islands. Of course, I'll accept your alliance any day. Destroyed all of Russia's armies, and now the only ones helping them are Jodhpur and Afghanistan. Uh, this is the last line of defense for Russia. There's 15,000 Afghanistan troops <laughs> sieging down Sweden. <laughs> Well, that's the world war over with. Uh, I didn't even have to invade any of Britain. I just had to siege out Russia and I got 100%. So, um, no, that was a kind of disappointing war, actually. Now, the question is, how many of these British colonies am I actually going to get out of this? Actually, hold the phone. Uh, Krakow currently has 12 fascist regiments trying to rise up. Uh, gonna have to put those down. Oh, the BH actually managed to get quite a few British colonies. But, uh, you know, more importantly than German Africa is Romanian Sudan. Bad thing about being communist, uh, don't have any of those capitalists around and they really love to build railroads. Fortunately, they're all dead, so I have to build them myself. It's giving me RSI. I didn't even realize, but Sweden got the majority of India. Uh, don't know why they didn't get all of it, but what the hell? An unlikely alliance, I know, but Japan and the Ottomans are apparently best friends and they're trying to take down Korea, but the uh, bad thing is that they've been at war for like, I don't know, five years now and they've, they've still yet to take Korea. I mean, you didn't know this, you know played Victoria 2 before, but you always support Serbia, because Serbia are strong. Oh no, it's World War 2 over East Galicia. <laughs> yeah, I feel like calling that a great war is just a bit over the top, TBH. I just realized with my sphere of influence, I, I, I just uh, kind of accidentally created 1940s Germany. I don't know why Puerto Rico wants military access from me, but honestly, who is to judge? Mortar wants an alliance me, what the hell? <laughs> I don't even know Mortar exists. Oh. <laughs> They're also a narco liberal. Ooh, I don't know if I should be worried about this at all. So yeah, I declared war on Sweden just because that whole uh, Swedish India thing's just a bit. It's throwing me off a little bit. And I realize if I get another great power on my side, we can start the Third World War already. Although, saying that, uh, I'm allied to Ireland and they just dropped 68,000 Irish men in Sweden. Oh, there you go. World War 3, right around the corner. So, Greece is in this war against me in the World War, the Third World War to be precise, and uh, I realized in the peace conference here that, you know, Hungary's added some stuff, but if I add war goal, the only thing I can add for free is... <laughs> <laughs> So, since America's the other great power in this war, I, w I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to invade them. I haven't called Canada in yet, because um, if you just follow me down the coast here, it, it looks like they've mobilized literally everyone in the country. Uh, never mind, apparently Sweden is the war leader, not America. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I'm Sweden, I love you. You just completely sold out America. Oh, you know, also, after that war, 
The French declared war on me for the fourth time to retake Alsace-Lorraine. Four times! Also, Ireland owns Ethiopia. It's pretty confusing.